After years of living la vida loca and choosing a lifestyle on the road, these days Ricky Martin has a home in Beverly Hills, California. In 2016, he, his husband Juan Yusuf, and their kids settled into a $13.5 million mansion that seems to be the perfect balance between modern design and family-friendly warmth. To date, we'll check out Ricky's current residence as well as a couple of his other properties. We even found the listings. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Ricky Martin is a Puerto Rican singer, actor, humanitarian and more, known as the king of Latin pop. He sold over 70 million records worldwide and being a super successful artist, he's also amassed a net worth of around $120 million. My mom's always been his number one fan and I gotta say, I love Ricky too. I even took her to his concert. It's no doubt that he spent plenty of his time on the road. In fact, talking about his sons, Ricky said, Tino and Mateo were born on the road. They're used to spending two weeks in one place and then moving on. Our kids are stable when we are together. Wherever we happen to be, that's home. And now it seems that that home is his Beverly Hills mansion. Hey everyone, I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer bringing you another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, this time looking at where Ricky Martin calls home. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new content daily. As always, you can follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. In 2016, Ricky decided to plant some very expensive roots and purchase his gorgeous home in Beverly Hills for $13.5 million. He traded his life on the road for a life at his stunning home with his husband Juan and their children. The home boasts seven beds and 8.5 baths throughout and was renovated and expanded to 11,300 square feet of living space. It's located in the upscale Beverly Crest neighborhood and is built in a mid-century modern style. It dates back to 1953 and was one of the final major works of architect Gregory Ames. There's a sleek open floor plan once you step inside with large formal areas, hardwood floors and other top notch materials. There are also plenty walls of wood paneled windows to let in natural light. The home had been virtually untouched since it was built in the 50s up until architect and builder Josh Boris bought it in 2014. He then combined parts of the original four bedroom, two bathroom home with the new construction while preserving the original aesthetic. Ricky also explained he and his husband wanted to keep a lot of the original home intact and not change things too drastically. He said, even though the house had been greatly expanded over the years, we still wanted to respect its original vision, the clean lines, the openness, and the sense of calm. Ricky had opened the doors of his Beverly Hills estate to Architectural Digest, offering a look inside, and we can see the interiors are a perfect balance between high class design and family friendly warmth. Not to mention, Ricky and Juan enlisted famed designer Nate Berkus to help them with the decorative process. Their beautiful home is full of artwork, including paintings, sculptures, and more, which reflects the couple's passion for beauty. Considering Juan is an artist himself, one of his works is featured in their home's entryway. Elsewhere at the residence, he transformed a detached 2,000 square foot structure that used to be a wellness center into his art studio. Then another area behind this will soon be turned into a recording studio for Ricky to produce some more hits. Ricky's kitchen is full of light and features plenty of cabinet space, a large island to dine at, and he says this space serves as a social hub where his family hangs out. Meanwhile, the formal dining room has a sentimental piece, the first table the singer ever purchased more than 25 years ago. One of the spacious family rooms has been decorated with white and gold, considering Ricky's Grammys are displayed here on the built-in shelves. Here, there's also a large comfy sectional sofa, glass sliders to the outdoors, and a flat screen TV. If that screen won't do, the home also boasts an incredible home theater. I have a screening room. In other words, I have a movie theater in my house. It's Elsewhere, you'll find Ricky's master suite that has a huge ensuite bath and what the superstar claims is a dream closet. I would agree. The master bedroom also has a sanctuary like vibe thanks to the floating two way fireplace, an inner courtyard, and a private executive kitchen. In the attached bath, there's even a large soaking tub with cascading waterfall. 
While the space is fit for royalty, Ricky includes more touching pieces, like a blanket the couple keeps in their bed. It was actually made by a fan. Outside, the property is just as stunning, with plenty of terraces and an outdoor seating area under the family's favorite tree, an area Ricky calls Zen. Elsewhere, a long patio runs the length of the house and surrounds the infinity pool and spa. There's also accent lighting all over to create ambiance to the three quarter of an acre property. We can see that while the mansion was gorgeous after construction, Rick and Juan made it even more impressive with their beautiful furnishings. And they combined them with the important elements of their life and family. Prior to Beverly Hills, Ricky used to own a few properties in Miami, Florida. In 2012, he sold one of them for $10.6 million. This home sat on the market for five long years, but I don't see why as it was a stunning villa. The Bayfront property boasted seven bedrooms, 8.5 bathrooms, and 10,000 square feet of space throughout. Built in 2004, the mansion featured beautiful archways and an interior theme with white walls and dark wood. The large kitchen had wood beam ceilings, a huge island, and a ton of marble. There was also a breakfast nook and stone flooring underfoot. One of the formal living rooms boasted high ceilings, a luxury white fireplace, as well as many windows offering views of the water. Elsewhere, there was a pool and a spa. And this wasn't the only home Ricky sold in Miami either. He ended up letting go of his estate in the Golden Beach neighborhood, located on the island on the northern edge of Miami-Dade County in 2015. Ricky sold this home for $12.8 million and it was a two-story Mediterranean estate in an exclusive and private Florida community. It was also oceanfront and had 108 feet on the beach. Inside the mansion boasted a gourmet kitchen with morning room, top of the line finishes, and a formal dining room with open living area. The master suite had his and hers bath, walk-in closet, a private terrace, and stunning open views. Since Ricky was traveling a lot, he even had a home in Sydney, Australia at one point, which was selling at auction for about $13 million in 2015. Located right on the beach, Ricky and his family occupied the beautiful home when he was a judge on The Voice. The estate was designed by Walter Barda and was completed right before Ricky moved in and spans one of the nicest beaches. Inside the home boasted five beds and impressive features like two pools, one inside and one outside, which was a 25 meter long lap pool. This one even had a porthole, allowing swimmers to peek into the ground floor living area. Talk about fancy. There's also an indoor gym, while the second pool is tucked away in the large private patio out back. Nearby, you'll find a garden of tropical plants to make the property even more stunning. The interior of this Sydney home boasted natural and luxurious materials, which included limestone flooring in the open plan common areas. The main living space had an open kitchen and dining room, which also opened to the beach view terraces. All right, so that brings us to the end of our Ricky Martin house tour. We got to check out his family home in Beverly Hills, where he still currently lives, a beautiful and artistic mid-century modern mansion. And what did you guys think? We also got to take a peek at some of his former homes in Miami, Florida and Sydney, Australia. In Ricky's main home, what was your favorite feature? I loved how Ricky and his husband included sentimental elements throughout the place because it makes it feel more like a real home. I also loved all of the wood accents as well as the outdoor space and the pool. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on Ricky's homes down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and follow me over on Instagram to chat and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.